My name is Jason Harvey and I am a detective for the NYPD and I work as a forensic artist. Well, we see them on lamp posts, we see them on light posts, you never actually see the work itself. Well, we develop our sketches based on the memory of the witness or victim. When we first meet, I just uh, want to introduce myself and uh, build a rapport with them. And then after that, we'll uh, get into a, an interview and it basically starts off very simply and I ask them to uh, describe this person's face to me. We'll work with photographs with them and then after that we'll show it to the victim or witness and they'll tell us things that look good and things that don't look good and then we'll make adjustments and work together to push it as close as we possibly could get it. I always tell them before we start, you know, the memory is not perfect. Uh, we're not expecting perfection. We just want to take what they remember about this person, put it on paper, and then we'll use it as a tool to help identify this person. And openness is very key. Like I know this show was kind of interesting because Adam would put these in a different context, an art context, and you could kind of appreciate them in that way. Jason's work is a lot more interesting than just labeling him as a forensic artist. Oh, this is my first gallery exhibit, and it feels great. Yeah, yeah and I didn't know I had fans. I knew his work just from watching the 11 o'clock news. He created these, these 26 characters that are kind of a nice cross-section between fantasy and reality. And that seemed to work because they're, they're not tied to a real case. But here I could uh, be more creative, so they were fun. It's like a, a great representation of, of New York City. Yeah, I just wish they were a little bit happier. It's been fascinating because uh, people come up with backstories for the sketches, which uh, isn't something I was really thinking about when I, when I made them. I have a passion for art, and I'm very happy to be doing art in the police department. Pretty close. So you know, you know. Oh, uh, this is Louis C.K., right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Funny guy. In the real world of composites, this would be successful because the sketch bears a likeness to the person, which is the best you could really do. We can't make portraits of the people because we don't know what they look like. So no, I think he did a good job.